Hey, it's Kim here, and welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. This is episode five, Cry Wolf, and we're heading to the factory to confront Bloody Mary and the Crooked Man, which is possibly the worst idea we've ever had. Shepherd Metalworks. So this is where Georgie sent us after, well, no, before, not after, we Mercy killed him, which was after Vivian killed herself. It was just death after death last week. I really was not expecting things to go that terribly. Okay, kick open the door. Of course. Why? Why with the button mashing? I'm feeling negative towards button mashing at the moment because my uh, hand's been playing up because I've been playing Uncharted 4 and that's been a lot of mashing and it's made my thumb very painful. There possibly is accessibility options, but I also can't be bothered looking for it right now. Kick this door down. I want to kick in a metal door. I'm not going to. I will never get my wish. I feel like we're walking into a trap. See those giant Maybe cylinder wolf. things? Oh, that's Bloody Mary's color. The big bad wolf. She's here taunting me, but those vats, is that the word for it? They were in one of the you Star used Wars. To be something. Attack of the Clones. And it didn't go well. What is this? Oh, hang on. Snow, Big B. Nerissa. Is that what Lily looked like? Holly and Snow. There's a lot. There's a lot of faith. And me by myself. Why are these photos? I feel like I'm meant to be putting something together right now. That's the torture wheel. They used to fear you. Oh, tense. Machinery is moving. Their small shivering bodies would fit. This is a very weird, like, you used to be great speech that is happening right now. I don't like Bloody Mary, she scares me. I feel like she's gonna just pounce out of nowhere and I'm really gonna drop my controller for the first time. Is this bullets? Uh oh. Silver. The big bad wolf. Ah, there's no mirrors here, go away. Oh shit. <laughs> I didn't drop my controller though. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you made it here in one piece. Oh. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you've finished, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Oh, they gotta try and kill me. Now, don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you will persuade him. <laughs> Cut this shit out! Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? Or yeah, was she too busy them. fucking whatever breeze drifted through town? Mean words, don't you talk about my mum like that? Oh, come on! <laughs> oh no, she is gonna kick my do? ass. early in the morning to be fighting. I hope she doesn't have any silver bullets in her gun. Although imagine she'd do like a willow and just like slowly push a bullet into me just so it hurts more instead of shooting. Oh, this is so intense. Why is she the flash now? Yeah, let's walk through the really skinny bit where we're defenseless. This is the best idea we've ever had. This isn't at all stupid. This is gonna turn out hard. Just fine. Jesus. Okay, game face. We can do this. Jesus. 
Hey, I got that one. I got that one. Where are you? Come out and face me. What does she look like? Oh my god, she's terrifying. Why do you look like that? Oh, all the mirror stepping bits. She is so scary. I liked you better when you looked human. Go back. Jesus, it doesn't seem to matter that I'm doing well on the quick time events. Oh, we're gonna stab her on something, aren't we? I'm full wolf now. She's gone again. Come out and die. Shit. She's actually terrifying. Also, looks a little like what the fucking what? Okay, it's the Kirby match. Smash Brothers. <laughs> okay, I'm just trying to take this seriously. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God! Well, I know the dog just said take it easy, but... We can't follow instructions to save ourselves, can we? Get off my back! Shit! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Oh, oh my god! Oh, I've got to push the screen but I don't want to! Please stop taking my stomach. What the? <gasps> I am so freaking cool. I didn't know I could turn into an actual wolf. <gasps> oh, you're dead now. I'm like literally a big fucking bad wolf. Oh, shit. This is the coolest thing to have ever happened in this game. Like I thought it was going to be cool a little bit, like the fight was quite fun, and then this happened. This is amazing. Oh! We're going to break the little thing like a twig. Holy shit! Don't fuck with me! Get a baby. What? Am I gonna huff them away? I'm gonna huff and puff. <laughs> That's about this much weight. Dude, I have the best lungs. I do so much cardio. Holy shit. Last one. Tiny little MySpace child. Oh, don't do that again. Oh, shit, I thought she was going to gouge my eye out. Wow. Shit. She gone for good? from this point. I just round of applause for that one. That one was pretty cool. Oh, is that why he always has a shirt? He leaves them or he takes them off? Or did you leave me a shirt? 
I like that I also put the tie back on. That is so unnecessary. Hello, I won. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. Snow White this said not to. This six rounds of specially designed silver bullets. What if I don't attack him? I might not be the best shot, but I can guarantee that at least one bolt will meet its mark, and you'll find yourself rolling on the floor in agony, unable to heal yourself. Without Swineheart to save you, you'll die. Is that reason enough for you? Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's yes. what I want. You plan to do what she says, don't you? I think so. We're not in a big rush right now. Maybe if I you will bring not have time to alive. calm down after the fight. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Tell me now what? Are we clear? You need to tell me right now. We're not going anywhere until I get some answers from you. What is if the you question? Want answers, you're going to have to cooperate with me. Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Bull shit. I already talked to Georgie. I know you ordered their deaths. Mr. Porgy is mistaken. Mr. Porgy. I'm a businessman, not a killer. What does take There's care of it mean then? You have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. It's always because terms. I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. Why does he keep backing up? You're often reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you He's mean? setting things up. He's doing something. Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. I don't need to That's answer smart. you. I admit that. So what I just don't understand is why you're here. I mean, you want to catch your killer, right? Georgie. Actually did do it. He's dead, isn't he? Yes. My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand <laughs> you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. All right, let's go. Hand this is over the very gun. weird. I think I'd rather hold on to it. If you don't mind. What do you say? Fine. Do you believe it? I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. Hit him, cuff him. I understand him. why she'd want to keep you around. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> this feels very... Your punishment will follow. Oh, I can't tell if I'm doing the right thing or not. I don't like that I feel like I'm doing what he wants. Wait, are we getting watched by someone? That was just a very weird camera angle just I know, I know. But we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to... Oh my gosh, they're all here to judge. Man. Thank God. She's so proud of me. Motherfucker. Are you okay? It's been hours. Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't oh, matter. Yeah, it turned into a giant wolf. It. Nothing out we of the ordinary. Talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know. <laughs> I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. Thanks. It's about time you showed up. 
Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what works. are you waiting for? You killed Lily. She was my sister. How could you? What do you have to say for Where yourself? Where the fuck do you get this off? You think you have the right and to just do this me? to people? You're a fucking crook. This. You should oh be God. ashamed. Shit. Everyone, can I have your attention? This Thank is not what I was expecting for a trial. Nervous. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder as of I Faith and... As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Pordy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White. Georgie may sure. have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yes, yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Do I tell Sheriff? him? I killed him. He's dead. He's what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't need change for this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case you still have a lot to answer for. And I, was I told don't I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. I'm worried I tied up all of the crooked man's loose ends. You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. <laughs> Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily. So you can strike that one from your little record. Sticking to that one, isn't he? Bullshit! Like hell you Stop didn't. the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? So we're trying to be... The crooked man has new. committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where ground. it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get on but with it, But we promised then. you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. Well, Snobes, explain that super well. This is ridiculous. Maybe he can just trip and you have, have an accident. Floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? He's here to just really, like, tell a story, George isn't he? For me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. This is such bullshit! Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would and never what did he mean? An act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered uh... your questions. I was willing to cooperate. Yeah, and your goons attacked me. Did you forget that part? They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true loyal to the end they do it because they want to protect me as i protected them you oh, understand he's a saint, to isn't he? what you care about don't you you'd do anything you might even that was give a up threat. an innocent man just to save someone i think you're done talking what are you afraid of why not let an old man say his piece let me explain this to you my employees are just that hired help 
I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted... that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. <sighs> right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. He is so yeah. manipulative. That's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Yes, oh, but no. wasn't I? We didn't abandon anyone. We've been trying to help them. Really? Particularly for this playthrough. <laughs> what about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? What I got my tree her? back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor fables get glamours. Oh, God, because he's winning! I helped her. She was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but Bigby refused. What? <laughs> you were gonna burn her tree? No. Snow, why would you want that? I know. Snow made a mistake. I had very good reasons for asking you to do that. She was working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with the Crooked Man. We've made some mistakes. I feel I like Snow is justified in mistakes. feeling like that. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear, right away but i want you all to know that i care deeply about all of you here here <laughs> and so does the sheriff yeah right i can't promise you perfection no one can things haven't been great for a while now but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him the crooked man's been exploiting you exploiting your hope for a better life you would go to him for help and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. We're not gonna tolerate this shit anymore. The debts are wiped. His business is closed. He's done. That's a really good, inspiring speech. Do you buy it? Yes, we got You're one! You're still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Yes, everyone, come to my side. Yay! I was really worried. I thought I was picking the wrong options. Oh. Very good. He's Very slow good. clapping us. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie was working for you! Bigby got a confession that- A confession that, that nobody heard. Uh oh. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Everyone keeps talking about my history, but I killed like, what, two pigs? What are so... you talking about? So, are we done? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town? Yeah! What do you mean there's no evidence? Yeah, don't maybe, I? Have I picked up any evidence? I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just Of need. course it's right. This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him. Let me just them. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course, yes. You're responsible. He's gonna be like, but I fired him if the I'm week to before. Blame for Georgie's mistakes, Shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Uh -oh. Like what? How about the way he treated the poor woodsman when he was in your custody? I didn't talk to him at all. He mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch. Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? That was Bluebeard, not me. 
He was a murder suspect. <laughs> Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Yeah. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, From you're right, who? Dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we did all... not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. He's so twisty. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. He's so they slippery. They would me for their own tangled ends, but they refused to answer for their own this crisis. This is right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, I Everyone calm down. This isn't I the mean, reason we're here. I mean, a certain level of privilege should be afforded to... to this is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We lashed oh, our shit. ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers? Judging you. Treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. I that thought I was winning! Who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? I should have killed Who him when I had the chance. The big bad wolf. <sighs> Who will be the- Bigby? Miss White? Oh shit! Hey! She has evidence. I I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. She Why was there. She heard. Come on, Nerissa. What's she doing here? Come on, Nerissa. I need to... I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. She has something to say, and we're gonna listen. Is she gonna Go get right past on. the ribbon? You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just shut you... up. <laughs> you enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. Oh wait, she can take it off because- I found Vivian's body. She's free. Did you kill her? Did he? No. Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. Vivian killed herself back at the pudding and pie. I'm sorry, um, I don't think I Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith, Faith and Lily. That's a lie. Faith I was asked. in the goddamn room when he did it. Faith and Lily are dead because of Faith you. Faith asked Woodsman if he remembered her. only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And now I can finally say, you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope you rot at the bottom of the witching well for what you did. We know what happened. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. Yes. We all heard you say it. <sighs> yes! Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's Marissa guilty. is clutch! Good enough for me. Me too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been I don't care. So, so we get rid of him. Oh my gosh, so many voices. Everyone. Listen up. Don't make me choose, Clearly, please. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I you hope you are suggesting yourself. Democracy? You vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? 
What about him? Time. No, 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 no. The only official <laughs> representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess that's it. Is. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's. It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay, Mr. Wolf. It's your call. Oh shit. No. Just do what you think is right. I don't think murdering someone to start off our new like governmental. Yes, do what you think is right. Teach him Revolution a fucking lesson. Revolution is gonna do no. much. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. Just fucking get rid of him. Oh my god. Oh shit. What? I thought for too long. Don't push him down. Don't push him down. You all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. Finish it, Sheriff. Please, we can still end it already. I'm like teenagers in high school. Yeah, yeah, I'm totally gonna beat you up. So are we just gonna lean in? <gasps> oh shit! This is what happens when you don't make a choice. That happened. Oh my god. For Lily and Faith. Yes, another one of us to erase from the books. Oh my god, I was linked towards locking him up, but that's it, I suppose. I had no idea it was going to go like that. One day later. It's been a long night. Obviously haven't gotten enough sleep. Still smoking. Hey, Sheriff. Hey, um, you I forgot come your see name. The truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down. Catcher. Okay. Great. For the farm? Who's going? I didn't send anyone. This fucking line. There's so many people. They oh, seem a little uh, happier. Maybe? Flight catcher left his keys. Thank you. Right. Thanks. I'm I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? How is there not enough time? There's like eight people. Surely it doesn't take an hour each. Oh, you again. Good morning, Miss White. <sighs> You're late. Does everyone else get to go in though? I really hope things have changed. Someone's gonna <laughs> see you, Colin. Don't wink at me and keep going. Weird. Is that it? Is that the end? No, it's still going. What more is left to show us? Toad. Toad's going to the farm. I'm going. Jesus. I gave you the money. We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake. I don't <laughs> give a shit. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. <laughs> oh, shit. Just go grab that, would you? Sorry what about happened? all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. I told her I had the money, but she didn't want to hear it. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. <laughs> You know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. I'm so sorry, TJ. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so if you could bring it to her. Yeah, of course. Sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. <laughs> We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? 
I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. I'm sorry, TJ, but uh, look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Even yeah. in daytime. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you <laughs> wouldn't know, would you? <sighs> I'm sorry, Toad. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Bye, TJ. Hey, Big B. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? How should I know? How did he stay? Am Say I goodbye. hiding him from snow? Hey, Nerissa. I like her jacket. Hi. Hi. Why is she still wearing the ribbon? You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... You need to let that go. How are you gonna move on if... Bigby, I... I know you're trying to help. But this is just something I need to do on my own. Listen, I... I came here because... I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. What? Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Oh, Make the right. pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Marissa, what did you do? I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. And then he killed them. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. So you sold them out? No. Yes. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> she knows that. She doesn't hate me. I don't know what happened. But that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. Oh, shit. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Wait, what? Look at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? So you think that makes it okay to lie? I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. Oh, shit. I walked her over here. That piece of fabric? And I left her. So, that piece of fabric I found near there, that was you? Yeah. I cut my leg trying to get over the fence. So you... You started all this. I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. That's why just they keep asking, do you remember me? Fade 
like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. It's going to be different now, I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I, don't I know. hope so. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way Thanks. you look out for each other and look out for us. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just different. Huh. Things are always different. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. Well, I tried. You when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been Whew. doing this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. Okay, cool. Nice bit of closure, I suppose. Weird that it all came back to her at the beginning. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Wait! I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Go after her! Oh my god! I'll see you around. Wolf. Well, I'm gonna take that as Faith is alive. I wish I'd taken off her ribbon, but it just seemed rude to try and remove it again after she freaked out the first time. And I wouldn't know if she's got a glamour tube on her or anything like that. This was a really cool game to play. I really liked the format of the quick time events and the choices, and I liked the art style and all up really, really fun. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for this series and thank you for hanging out for this video. If you'd like to hang out some more, hit subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye.